Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm a beach volleyball Olympian and world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. And that being said, today we are going to talk a little bit about indoor volleyball, specifically the roles and responsibilities of the volleyball setter. Now, if you've been watching some volleyball and you see the setter and you're wondering exactly what they're supposed to be doing, this is for you. And also, if you're looking to get into volleyball and you're not really sure what position would be right for you, we're gonna give you a little rundown of everything that the setter is expected to do to see if it would be a good fit for you. So here we go. Today, we are talking about the roles and responsibilities of the setter in volleyball. The first and probably most obvious role of the setter in volleyball is to run the team's offense. Now that is a very general, broad role, so we're gonna break it down a little bit. Obviously, the setter touches the ball more than any other player on the court. Every single time the ball comes to the, your team's side, hopefully, if the ball control is decent, the setter will be touching every second ball. So, they need to make sure that they are putting their hitters in the best position possible to score every time. So with that, we need consistency and precision. Okay, sometimes the pass is perfect and sometimes it's not, but a great setter is able to take any pass in any situation and put the ball in the same general area every time. The hitters know what to expect, they know where the ball will be, and that allows the team to be consistent and high powered in their offense to be able to have a great chance to score all the time. Secondly, it's really important for the setter to understand their hitters individually and what their needs are. Different hitters like different types of sets. Some hitters like the ball higher, they might be tall, they need it high. Some players like the ball really fast. You know, some players like the ball a little further from the net to open things up and allow them to see what's happening on the other side. It's really important for the setter to know who their hitters are and what they need best to be able to score. Another part of running your team's offense is always understanding who your attack options are at all times. You need to know who every potential hitter on your side of the net is and who you want to get the ball to first, second, third, whatever. The other important piece of this is to know who is blocking on the other side of the net. Oftentimes, there will be a one weaker blocker compared to the others on the other team. We wanna make sure that we can exploit that blocker to give our hitters the best chance to score possible. To consistently run the offense into two really strong blockers probably isn't the best choice. So having the presence of mind to know who your attackers are and who the blockers on the other side of the net is, is really important. And being able to determine which matchup is best for your team gives your team the best chance to score. The last piece that I want to touch on on running a team's offense is that the setter needs to know and truly understand the game plan. Now, this can be communicated to the team through the coach, but it also can have to do with preparation before the game. So the setter, as the leader of the team's offense, it is really important that you, of all players on the court, know what the other team's defensive strategies are, who, what your team's strengths are, and how to move the pieces around to get what your team needs to score. Now, like I said, a game plan is often discussed before the game. So, as I mentioned previously, because the setter is touching the ball more than any other player, that is why it is so important that the setter really understands the game plan. You can think of the setter pretty much as being the quarterback of the volleyball team.
Role number one of the setter on a volleyball team is to run the team's offense. Role number two is to be a strong leader and presence on the court. I kind of talked about it a little bit in running the team's offense, but I think that being a leader needs to be its own role and responsibility because again, and I'm going to say it again, the setter touches the ball more than anybody else. A big part of being a setter is communication. And this involves communicating with the coach, but also with the players on the court. There is so much communication that happens and goes through the setter. And so having really strong communication skills and having that leadership quality of being able to take charge be focused and be a strong, calming presence on the court is really, really important in the setting role. The third and final role that I wanna to touch on for the volleyball setter is the idea of being an all-around player. Setters aren't the ones scoring the points. They're not, you know, the showy, flashy players. Setters kind of fly under the radar. They're touching the ball a lot. They're making the players around them better, putting them in a position to score. But setters are oftentimes very good defensive players and very good servers. You know what? It's great if you can set your players and be precise and consistent and that you're a strong leader, but you also need to bring a little bit extra to the floor. And that's by helping keep the ball off the ground. And that's by generating a little bit of offense and helping your team defensively by being a good server. Oftentimes you'll see that setters are sometimes smaller players, so it's not always expected that they will be the leading blocker on a team, but to be able to contribute in those ways by putting another team in trouble with their serve, getting some solid touches on the block, and being a really strong presence defensively, it, that is really important to add to your game as a setter. So, my top three roles and responsibilities of the volleyball setter are run the team's offense, be a strong leader and presence on the court, and be a good all-around player with strengths in many skills. I probably made about 10 sub points in those big three points, but I think those are the big key ideas. If you have some roles and responsibilities that you think I missed, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. And I would love it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more volleyball-related content. Thanks!